Sticky rice is a staple in Lao cuisine. Almost every meal always has fresh sticky rice to enjoy with dips, meats, and veggies. With the rice, we are making kao ji, a Lao pancake snack. It's crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. This street snack goes well with jiao bong, a sweet, spicy Lao dip. Sabaydi Pinong, hi fam, welcome back to Sang's Kitchen. I just got back from the rice field with the ox. It's been a very long, sunny, scorching day, but we have fresh rice with me, and I'm gonna show you all how to make fresh sticky rice, but also one of the most popular Lao street snacks that is made out of sticky rice called kao ji. So let's get into it. The first thing we wanna do with sticky rice is rinse it. So go ahead and grab a big bowl, place all your sticky rice right in the bowl, Let's grab room temperature water and you wanna mix that and get all the starches out. So you're gonna rinse it for about three times until the water is somewhat clear. And then go ahead and pour more water on top and we're gonna let this soak for at least 12 hours and come back and check on it. Lao people are known as Luke Konea, which translates as children of sticky rice because we eat sticky rice for almost every meal. The anatomy of rice grain is the hull, the bran, the white rice, and then the germ. The unique thing about sticky rice is that it has no amylose, but it has high in amylopectin, which is the components of starch. The rice has been soaking for 12 hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain all the water from the rice and get it ready to be cooked. Go ahead and put all the sticky rice right into the bamboo cooker. And then for the metal portion, we wanna add about three to four inches of water. Once the water is boiling, go ahead and put the bamboo basket right on top. And then we're gonna wait about 15 minutes to check on it. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know the sticky rice flip challenge. This light flip inspired that whole challenge. So I'm gonna show you just the regular flip and then go ahead, put the lid right on top and wait for another 15 minutes. It's been 30 minutes and it looks like our sticky rice is done. Go ahead and grab a flat tray and put all the sticky rice right on top and it's gonna be very hot, so be careful. You wanna gently break the sticky rice apart and let all that heat come out. And then let's go ahead and start rolling it back together. Once it's back together in a ball, you're gonna grab your dip coat, your sticky rice holder, and go ahead and put all that sticky rice right on in. And like that, that's how you make sticky rice. It's so easy, right? Just takes a little bit of patience. So that's not the end of this episode. We have another part. We're gonna be making kao ji with fresh sticky rice, my style. It is one of my favorite delicious snacks, so let's learn how to make kao ji. So go ahead and grab a handful of the fresh sticky rice, and with other hand, grab a big pinch of salt and sprinkle it right on top of the sticky rice. And then you wanna clump it all together, mush all that salt together and make sure it's spread out. And now you're gonna form a sticky rice patty. And I have a special trick for this. So what I like to use is a tortilla press. It's gonna help it become more condensed and also more chewy when you cook it. Go ahead and lightly brush the tortilla press with some vegetable oil. And then we're gonna put the sticky rice patty right in the middle and you wanna press it down as hard as you can. Use all your strength and then you're gonna open it up and you have the perfectly pressed sticky rice patty. We're not done yet. And now I'm gonna take a circular cutter and go ahead and make the perfect circle and push it right onto the sticky rice patty. And now you have the perfect circle for kao ji. Don't throw away the extra sticky rice, you can still fold it into each other and make more patties. In a small bowl, go ahead and add a one whole egg, one egg yolk, badak. Badak is my favorite ingredient in Lao food. It is unfiltered fish sauce. And it's filled with so much pungentness, funkiness. You'll know when someone opens a bottle of badak. It's made when the enzymes of the fish tissue break down the innards and the muscles of the fish, while also the salt protects it from any of the bad bacteria growth. So don't be afraid of badak. Add a little bit of it. I mean, add a lot. Fish sauce, seasoning sauce, bouillon, and then lastly, pepper. And you're gonna whisk this all together. You wanna then skewer each patty and it looks like a savory lollipop. We wanna heat up our saute pan and add a little bit of oil. We're gonna put the sticky rice patties right in the saute pan and let it cook for about one to two minutes each side and that's gonna create that extra crispy layer that we want. Once the patties are crispy on all sides, go ahead and grab that egg mixture and paint it right on top. And it's gonna cook for about 30 seconds and then you wanna flip and do another brush. Kao ji is done. I like to serve it with a side of jiao bong, sweet, spicy, lao dip, and we're just gonna chow down. Today's special guest is my friend, Tip Sulisak. 
Does that say it am I right? Pretty right. Pretty pretty <laughs> okay. close. Since I've known you, you've been doing a lot of different pop-ups. Um, you told told me about Kochi and a little bit of the history. So could you explain to everyone what does Kochi mean for a lot of people? Kochi is salta is pretty much a patty of mm -hmm. sticky rice. And sticky rice overall is very important. It's it's a or it's our staple mm -hmm. ingredient that we eat with every meal. And there's even a saying that says hak panka mm -hmm. which means love and care for each other like sticky rice. I like that. Because sticky rice sticks to each other. We are all sticky rice. <laughs> yeah. But with that being said, the tradition it has come that the end of January to February, mm -hmm. we make these little patties of kapji and we take it to the temple for the monks and we listen mm -hmm. to Dharma, hoping that we too can reach enlightenment. Wow. So sticky rice can bring a lot of good things in your life. Oh, well, earlier you mentioned your pop up philosophy. Where do I find this food? We wanted to offer all of LA Lao food, authentic Lao food for the first time and have kind of a regular but temporary running schedule. And we ran for three weeks and every week was longer, a longer wait than the last and had yeah. even more people than the week before. So if you think that other people don't eat badak. Yeah. Everybody eats badak. Everyone eats badak. Yeah. We need to hear that more often. We're about to do our second official year of philosophy in Echo Park. Mm -hmm. And it will start March 6th. Last year we ran for three weekends, but this year we're running for four weekends. Mm -hmm. How can people find out about you and your um, pop ups? If you want to follow the the pop-ups, which is it's at Puck Hot Tip. Okay, I'll be at the pop-up. And Tip, thank you so much for coming on this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, please comment, share, subscribe, and we will see you all next time on Sang's Kitchen. Bye! Bye.